I was on the train and I was actually thinking like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Like I'm just working in this job, it's gonna probably like suck the life out of me. Like, and I need to go back to school. And there were so many things that I wanted to do. And I kind of just like looked up and just saw the youth build sign there. And it said, you know, from 18 to 20. So I figured like, hey, this might be my last chance to get a high school diploma. And I went up there and automatically I felt like just the love that, sh that they give and just how dedicated everybody is to their job to help these, to, to help everybody, you know, graduate and make it to the next level. So the moment I stepped in the door, I knew I wanted to go there and I was going to do whatever it took to get in. After I, after I dropped out of high school, it was like, I felt like I wasn't doing anything with myself. Even though, like, my job, it, I wasn't, I didn't have a bad job, but I still felt like I was going nowhere. And Youth Builder just showed me that there was just so much more to life than, even even after getting my diploma, they showed me, like, like the diploma is not over, like, it's not it. They showed me that there was so much more that I can do with myself um, after I got out. And realizing those things and seeing that some of those things like tied into some dreams that I had wanted to accomplish it really kept me like getting up every day early Saturday Sunday like doing what I had to do to uh, move up to the next level there are a lot of kids in my family and all the children in my family look up to me so they're gonna do whatever I do so if I'm not going to school and I'm not doing the right thing they're gonna grow up and they're not gonna go to school and they're not gonna do the right thing so as long as I stay on the, the right side of the track, they'll stay on the right side of the track. You don't choose who chooses you as a role model. Like, I can't say, well, that, I'm going to be that kid's role model, that kid's role model. They choose you. So, you know, I had to do what I had to do to, you know, so they had an example to follow. I like everything about Youth Build. Like, when I, after I graduated, I, like, went back every day because it was like, I missed all my friends. I missed all the staff. I missed... I miss, I miss having like, I don't know, it's weird, like I missed having to get up and do the work. I missed having to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Like, Youth Build gives you so much, they show you so much love. It's like, it's like when you, when you graduate from the Youth Build, it's like you losing your family. Like, it's, it's, it's a real like horrible feeling. But you always know you can always go back and visit and people will still be there. And if you ever needed anything, they can help you with uh, anything that you need so I mean that's one of the most things that I that I really like about you Bill is that they just they just help you so much they go like above and beyond the call of duty and it's not just like there's no favors they do it for everybody no matter what if, if you walk in those doors then automatically they, they they're gonna they're gonna show you some support they showed us how to build PCs up from the, from the bottom up showed us how to refurbish them they showed us the different boards and how everything connects together just in case if something had to get replaced we would know how to identify what needs to be replaced what's wrong with the computer um we also learned how to refurbish some laptops we actually did like a couple like hundreds and hundreds of laptops which the school actually gave away and donated to different places so we got to like help out the city as well um aside from like donating the PCs to the community, like through the school. We also went to parks with the America program. We like cleaned up some parks. Then we did a, a, a free concert in the um, in a park in North Philly where a lot of people attended and came out. We did like kind of a stop the violence uh, concert. And it was all student based where, you know, a couple of our students performed, I actually performed in it. And then a couple of students from other high schools performed in it. And it was really nice. Uh, to bring up the awareness on the gun violence in Philadelphia, which is, you know, it's kind of outrageous. Uh, we cleaned up some parks. We cleaned up Nice Town Park. Uh, we went to an art gallery in Germantown and kind of cleaned up back there. It's good because you get to see, you get to see like the streets transforming. Like people are happy to see that their area and that their neighborhood is clean. And then people will also jump on it and do their part to clean up their neighborhood as well. So. It's kind of like planting the seed for change. Like we did like little jobs like cleaning up a park, but then once other people see it, they want to do their part to fix it as well. So it was like a little thing that we did, but it had a big impact. And that's the kind of things that Youth Build had us do. When I got into Youth Build, I was just relieved and so happy to be in school again because it was harder to get into Youth Build than it was to get in my college. Because, you know, so many people apply, they have to turn so many people away because they don't have the funding to take everyone. So. You know, getting accepted to Youth Build at first was like a big accomplishment for me. So I went in there, I wanted to do the best that I can to make the most of it since it was so hard to get in. Um, and it actually paid off pretty well for me. I got like top honors in like every class for like every trimester. 
I got like 100% attendance for every trimester. I got 100% attendance for the year. I graduated valedictorian for uh, class of 2007, and the race was super close. It was like myself and the two salutatorians, we were just like, it could have been anyone. It was a barn burner all the way to the end. And I was just, uh, I'm just really happy to have won that and be able to have that little certificate on my mantelpiece. That's kind of like my grandmother's pride and joy because in high school she graduated salutatorian and she you know she was happy to see her grandson do it and finally make it especially since I was like the only guy to like graduate from high school I feel like I'm a much better person now I'm much more prepared for anything that may come my way you know when I had dropped out of school and just started you know working a job that I really really didn't think was going to go anywhere. I was just going to start at the bottom and just keep working and just go as far as I could go. But I really didn't have any direction or purpose or motivation to just do anything. And eventually that would have drove me crazy. So after, you know, after going through the whole youth build experience and, you know, having the support that they gave me and them and, and realizing the things that they were trying to show me, I feel like I can do anything. Like I can finish school now. I can, I can go to college and be successful. I can go to any career I want to go in and be successful. I can, I can follow any dream that I want to follow and be successful. And those things have come to fruition since I got out of school, you know. Following the path that you Bill had set out for me has is, is made that possible. Um, and I am going to be able to finish. And I feel that I'm just much better off now than I would have been without you Bill because I'd probably just still be at home or still be at work instead of following the dreams that I wanted to follow.